morning everyone i am getting ready for the day why is helping me and uh we have a few errands to run so i thought it would be a good day for a day in the life um i am going to hold on buddy hey i'm gonna just do my face here i'm the same face routine that i've done on the channel before but uh why has a haircut today right buddy Yes, look haircut. it, it's sticking. It's sticking. We have to go get a new bobbin for my sewing machine and some fabric. I want to try my hand at making a jumper for a little girl. Um, like a, I don't know how to explain it. It's a dress, essentially. I know a lot of people call jumpers different things in different places. So it's a dress with like overalls, essentially. But yes, that is what is going on right now. <laughs> Um, my husband has an unexpected day off, so we have a second set of hands. Can we work it out? Look, okay. it's thick. Mm -hmm. So we have a second set of hands today. We just ate breakfast, and we went out. How many eggs did we find in the coop? Three. We found, three. We found three eggs in the coop this morning, so that was really cool. Uh, before we leave, we have to get the duck's pond ready, and yeah, I think that's it. So. I'm gonna get ready quick and I'll see you in a second. All right, this is how far I've gotten. My husband is awake, if you can hear all of that. Uh, I wasn't sure what time he was gonna get up because I woke up with Delilah at like four cause she woke up and he was down here with the power shake shaking it and he had like all this energy. So I'm like, okay, he has, you know, with his sleep schedule, everything is all messed up. So he has it all in check and he, yeah. That's that's what happens. I feel like a lot of people in the medical field can attest to that and any first responders, things, well, I guess medical people are, but you know what I mean, people with different schedules. But I thought I'd come on here and show you my lash routine because I got a question last time. So I'm using the Falscara Bond and Seal. I like it because it brushes onto the lash and what I do is brush it onto the lash, just like I said. I try and use this curved part. Yeah, this curved part because I feel like it distributes the product a little better. Looking a little, I don't know, plain right now because I don't have these on. But I really like having false lashes. I know some people make fun of them, but they're really awesome for postpartum i know i'm very postpartum but i just my eyelashes have never really been a good feature for myself and these are nice so i ordered these on amazon they're always linked in my amazon storefront but uh they're just 12 inch little wispies they look like that and i start it like this and then i go up and under my lash so I make sure that there's nothing on the actual lash because I do reuse these a couple of times before I um, get rid of them so I'd say they last about you know two months for I think they are seven dollars now they used to be six but um, I think that's really awesome and it's quick so it doesn't I don't have to go to a professional to sit in a chair and I think you know, people that do lashes are really talented, but I just need something quick that I can handle on my own. So yeah, you just go up and under the lash and I always start on this side. So I have to remember that wherever you want them really. And yeah, there's that. And you just follow the line. So with these lashes, I do about four, four across, sometimes five, but if I do five, just the shape of my eye, it just looks strange on the end, but I've seen people do five and they look really great. So it really just depends on the shape of your eye. And, oh goodness. I let, like my husband and I have been together for so long and he always didn't like finding my hair everywhere because my hair just falls out all the time. It's just wavy and I play around with it. But this is funny if he ever finds these around. That's like a new level of just like grossing him out. So, yep. You just follow it. I don't really have a zoom lens, so I hope you can see. 
my camera's working a little better now, so. But I am in the market for a new phone. My husband is like a anti-Apple person, but it's just with the ease of all of the socials and things, I always get an Apple product. So I'll probably just get the new iPhone. I love the portrait mode that for filming that it blends out everything. So I'll probably do that. And then this is the last one. Okay. Yep. And there it is. So what I do is just kind of let it dry. And some people take tools to pinch it down, but I don't like doing that. So I just make sure my fingers are clean and I pinch it into my lash. And this will stay. Do you hear them? I'm sure you do. Um, this will stay for, you know, about a week or so. I don't, when I wash my face and when I shower, I try not to get any water out of it. And then at night, I kind of just try and brush through it just so there's no dust or anything. But I mean, the difference is amazing to me. I really like them. I, again, I know some people on the other channel, you'll hear that a lot, commented that it's vain and blah, 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 blah. But it's just a little simple part of my routine that I love. So I'm gonna do the other side and I will catch you in a second. Okay, so here's what they look like. I would not say this is my best application. I ran out of 12, so I did a 10 on this side, but you can see that they're pretty seamless. I mean, with my lashes, like the strip lashes that we used to do back in, I don't even know, 2000 and, 11 i i was just having like a really hard time with those they wouldn't stay on and i have not tried any lash serums uh they're first of all super pricey i forget to do things if they're not part of the routine and uh yeah i guess i could get that part of the routine but i'm just putting some setting powder on and some of this bronzer. So I'm just like kind of contouring here. I didn't mean to do a makeup routine today, but here we are. This is what happens sometimes. And I'll show you how I've been doing my lips because I've been loving it. And then I just go under, get rid of that powder. And then I've just been trying to do this contour here. So what they're doing up there is wrestling. Uh, it seems to get some of Y's energy out, but of course now Delilah loves doing it. So it's a whole, a whole thing. But okay, so here's what I've been doing for my lips. I've been taking the coffee <laughs> eyeliner pen because I couldn't find any other. And I go on the bottom. And then on the top, and don't worry about it looking ridiculous right now because then you go in with the NYX Buff and I'm using NYX Buff Powder Puff Lippy. And this is in the shape, or the shade Best Buds. Best Buds, how cute is that? Um, okay, so I go right here and it's nice because you can kind of just press on it I make sure I have my lip mask on so it has just like a better base for the winter because my lips get so chapped. And then I just go in with my finger and blend that line out. And I find that it works. I don't know, I think it looks good. That's just me though. And then I'm gonna go back in with my blush. And usually this takes me maybe five to 10 minutes, but when I'm doing my lashes, just add an additional five. And then after that, if I'm doing my lashes, I do my shadow last. So I've been liking putting like a shimmery copper on, bringing me back to my high school days when I was allowed to start wearing makeup and all that. I didn't come from a very strict family, but my mom, I admire how she raised the girls. So. I will definitely be following in her footsteps. Big shout to you, mom. You did, you did good. Uh, but yeah, so I am just getting that copper shade on. And then 
darker on the corner. I know a lot of people do it the other way, but I just find that it blends a little better for me. I'm not really a makeup artist. Oh my gosh. So they're jumping off the bed and they're directly... I feel like I have to justify this every time because it sounds like chaos, but I promise they're okay. They're okay. But yeah, this is the finished look. I will back up here. Um, I'll probably wash my hair today or tomorrow. I only wash my hair once a week. Um, and I haven't been using any dry shampoo. I've just been kind of letting it go. And I don't know, I like the natural wave and I think it's, I think it's going well. So we need to get uh, the, a haircut for why need to get stop at Joann's get that fabric and uh, a new bobbin so I'll have to check for a coupon because sometimes a new bobbin I might even need a new bobbin part I have fixed that sewing machine so many times and it's definitely we're, we're ready for a new one but it's just not something I use so much that we're gonna buy one it would be more of a gift scenario so can if anyone asks like what I want like family wise that's probably what I'll say I have to set my makeup and this stuff really works revolution matte fixed oil control fixing spray I wouldn't say my skin is too oily but I like that matte um I don't know I like matte and a lot of things so Yes, what was I saying? Oh, I fixed that sewing machine so many times and I really do think it's on its last leg. It's just an old singer. I lived above a sewing, a sewing shop back home and whenever I had an issue, I would just ask my landlord who owned the sewing shop uh, for a little bit of help and advice. So that is why I know my machine, uh, but I encourage you if you have a sewing machine to get to know it because you can fix it without getting a new one. I feel like every single time there was an issue, I fixed it. I didn't have to buy a new one, but now it's been, you know, it's been like maybe 13 years since I got a new one. So yes, um, we're going to do that. We need tomatoes and lemons. That's the only thing. So we'll probably start, stop at the farm stand. I think they're open. I could be wrong. If not, then maybe we'll go to Sprouts or something. And then I think that's it. I think I'm going to share a nice dinner with you and go from there. So welcome. Thanks for coming to my little impromptu makeup routine. I'm going to get dressed and I will see you soon. Okay, this is the finished look. The kids and I have switched spots. I'm just wearing that tank top I always wore in the summer. The high-waisted leggings. I feel like it's coming. This belly's popping. And then just a sweater because it's super sunny today. I'm just going to wear some long socks. Does anyone feel like they have to do that when they have a loose shirt? Like I just don't want a mistake that I'm not pregnant. So <laughs> I'm doing that. And then I'm just going to do some white socks and I think that's it, right? I think I'll do some clogs or some boots or something like that. I might pull this hair up because I did spray that setting spray in the hair and uh, that didn't help me because <laughs> now it looks yucky, but it's super sunny out. I'm excited. I think I might start some seeds. It's super sunny. Oh, it's dark right there. Yeah. Uh, I think I might start some seeds in some uh, milk jugs today, but that will be on the other channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Very beautiful out today, so I'm actually going to, hey girls, I'm going to fill the duck pond up with this water over here, so I'll need the big bucket. I just put this across so they don't poop on the porch, because it's ridiculous. Oh, they're dust bathing. Have you ever seen a chicken take a bath? That's what they do. Yep, so it actually really helps their coats and it keeps the mites out, keeps them clean, and it really keeps them happy. It's good for their mental health too, so it's pretty funny actually. Did you girls get your bath? Oh, Dolly, you're pretty dusty. You're pretty dusty. You wanna shake off for a little bit? Wanna shake off? <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna get the ducks little pond going here so they can play. So I think for the garden season, we're definitely gonna put some herbs right here, but we're thinking about, <laughs> it's 
stopping the free range process at like half the yard because they will eat anything. They ate the sage that lasted through the winter. They ate the lavender over here. But I just think that the smartest thing to do is to kind of cross things off here. And then I don't know, for right here, I'm not sure what I will put here, but it seems like the chickens really love this area. So maybe we'll leave it the chicken area. I'm not sure, but just got the ducks this pond for the day because, uh, the other pond is just a mess. So they take turns two at a time in there. This pond is just a mess. So I cleaned it out and it's drying, but that's the easiest thing. But still, they'll just sit here and eat this puddle. Wilder made a hole in the puddle for them so they can just drink out of there. Although they have three clean places to drink their water. Why do you do that, Wynn? <laughs> yes, so I'm gonna clean up this area. Oh my gosh, look at this chicken. <laughs> We have Reba, it's Reba, in the bucket here. One second, bud. What are you doing in there? What is she doing in there? I don't know. I guess we're picking up all these back eggs on the floor. Oh, okay. So, got to clean the coop again. We just cleaned it two days ago. It's just a mess in there, right? I could see eggs in here. Yeah, but we're going to get some outside work done while my husband gets ready for the day. Look at, I can tell it's Reba because of her feather. Sorry, that's random, but hey, she has I'm, this really I'm pretty green. Bear yeah, she has this really pretty green feather in here. But yeah, so when my husband gets ready, we are going to clean up a little bit out here. And yeah, we're going to take you along. How many times have I said that? I feel awkward today. Sorry. So here's like a good point. I mean, they can't fly. Yeah, very well, but they're in the garden and they just kind of hang out whenever they can. So I don't know. It's, yeah, so we'll have to kind of fence this off. Okay, the ducks are happy and bathing right now. And then we are going to. Hey, I'm happy. I know. Why is talkative today? Uh, we are going to head out here soon. We were just making sure they were all going to get a bath. I got the porch semi cleaned off. I don't even know if you can see that. Oh, we're zoomed in. Sorry. <laughs> and yeah, I just was trying to get some things cleaned up. But <sighs> there's not a lot you can do with this right now because it's going to snow again. Hey, it's going to snow again. And we just need to figure out. I think we might get a mud jack company here so we can uh, lift this up just uh because it collects so much water so i don't know that's definitely a summer project but the high tunnel i think will either go in this back corner or because that gate opens it will go back there which i would really like because it would be a nice little spot for me to hang with uh kids and new baby so yeah we are all packed up and ready to go i'm grabbing a drink uh but i just witnessed something something on our little homestead and that was uh wednesday in mating behavior wednesday is what we thought was our female duck um she's actually a drake because i saw a very distinct part if you know anything about male ducks then you'll know um so trying to brainstorm through that i know how to tell a fertile egg versus an egg that you would eat um the vein structure and things like that but okay uh we're gonna get in the car <laughs> oh haircut are you excited okay so calm down okay we'll get those get it going you like my new sunglasses yeah. she paid for those <laughs> Let's see it. What? Wow. Did you 
Did you have a good time? Yeah, yeah it looks great. Woohoo, and a lollipop? <laughs> we are home and I'm gonna get started on a sheet pan dinner. I will show you the aftermath because it's really easy to put together and I'm using it as a recipe on the other channel. So I'll just show you the aftermath of everything, but we didn't really get a lot done. I decided not to stop for a tomato and lemon. I will just be fine until we make it to the grocery store again, but I'm feeling rather exhausted and out of breath. But uh, a package came from Gap. They had this sale. I There's just a bunch of baby stuff for like $1.50. dollar fifty. Three forty seven dollars was one outfit. And I'll show you that in a second. But that is what is going on right now. We're just kind of hanging out at home. I was trying to stretch downstairs. But my husband said just go get a moment of silence. So that is what I'm doing right now. It's a little bit later. I am editing right now. And then I'm just going to stop for something to eat. I have some of that leftover sheet pan. The kids are watching Mickey Mouse, I believe. Yeah, buddy. I want to eat a pickle. You want to eat a pickle? Okay. Got this industrial size pickle jar. Pickle jar. From Sam's Club. It's like $3.42 for that giant thing of pickles. So I will show you my plate here and I'm going to get back into editing. I'm editing like four videos right now. So sometimes I do that to myself. It is my own fault, but um, yes, I'm going to power through. All right. So I have rice on the bottom and then I have sweet potatoes, bell pepper, red onion, and asparagus. And then I made like a chipotle sauce. So it just has barbecue and a little bit of mayo, garlic, and liquid smoke. And I'm drinking a big glass of water. I'm going to get back to it and then I'm going to show you Nice little relaxing nighttime routine. Okay, this is gonna be horrendous lighting. We just don't have the setup to vlog. Our house is not like a vlogging house, so I apologize. But what I've been doing every night after I get some editing done and the kids are settled and they have dinner and all that, I at least try and get one load of laundry done uh, per day. And by done, I mean wash, dried, folded and put away and that has been really helpful uh trying to keep up with everything i think it will be good practice for when the baby comes and speaking of like chores i like to do every day i also like to get the dishes done every single day i like to at least wake up to a clean ish sink if there's a few in there that's okay but i've been seeing just some productivity in the morning uh, when I wake up to a clean kitchen. And uh, I have been doing my floors every day, but that is just because we've been outside this week so often. So when I say I do my floors, I vacuum them and then I like to Swiffer or mop. It's not really a Swiffer. It's just one of, uh, I don't know, it's like a dry mop that I got at the Dollar Tree. And then I just put their pad on it and I spray whatever I have, I don't even know, vinegar and some solution uh, just so I can get some of the mud prints out. But that's been really helpful and I wanted to share that with you. So that is what I'm doing right now. And then I'm going to take a bath and just kind of relax for the night. It's really helpful when I have my husband here at night. That way I can have a second set of eyes while I just tend to what the house needs. So laundry's done. Now I'm going to head on into the kitchen and get the dishes done and the kitchen cleaned up. I'll just show you right now. It's kind of messy, but not anything too tricky uh, to deal with right now. I'm gonna shake the rugs out and then I'm going to do my steam mop vacuum. And that has been a lifesaver for me. I will say I've never bought an appliance at full price. I just refuse to. I Everything that we find is always on sale. And I found this refurbished one on Amazon during Prime Days with a gift card. So typically they're pretty expensive. I will still link it in the Amazon store, but I would like look at Target or maybe Walmart or something uh, for this. And it's just really helpful because it vacuums and mops 
at the same time so you're not doing both but of course my one from the dollar tree works just fine as well it just doesn't vacuum at the same time so i'm gonna get these dishes done and i'll see you in a second to show you how i set that up okay so i totally uh forgot to lock the chickens so i'm gonna do that i'm gonna get dark here for a second uh i'm gonna lock the chickens in for the night they <laughs> Now I'm just completely dark. This was silly to bring the camera. There we go. Uh, they, oh, look at the star. So beautiful. They actually put themselves to bed every single night and then the ducks will follow. So here we go. Hi girls, it's just me. Sometimes the train spooks them. Hi, is everybody okay in there? We have one, two, three, four ducks. One, two, three, four chickens. We are good to go. Good to lock the coop for the night. Night girls, love you. Okay, good to go. I just have to do the dishes and put those into the dishwasher and the kitchen will be ready. So I have mentioned the top five before, but I try and hit these five things every day. And that is the, this is just diluted uh, method and water. I'd probably, I'd say there's like that much left in there, but the top five are, oh, we <laughs> see now I forget them. Uh, one load of laundry, the dishes, the floors, the countertops, and then if I can fit something in there, like making the bed, for instance, or cleaning up the basement, then that's really important to me. But I try and hit those five things every single day. I'm gonna let this sit for about three minutes is what the bottle says. You're supposed to let your cleaner sit, and then I'm gonna move on to the floors. The same old thoughts be my referee I will be alright Never could Okay, so I did decide to uh, vacuum and then use my Swiffer, the opposite of what I said I was gonna do because I'm vacuuming the carpet tonight. So that is why I will show you the steamer, mopper, and vacuum some other time, but this is really helpful right now because there was rice everywhere from dinner. Mm -hmm. 